Hello, thanks for watching. This is Christy with Art of Awakening and welcome to this reading. For the upcoming week, I do um, readings for the lunar weeks. So we are looking at the third quarter moon here, uh, starting on Friday, May 26th through uh, next Friday. I'm sorry, this is for the for April 26th through next Friday, May 3rd, moving into a new moon in Taurus on May 4th. And I will be using my Spirit Animal Awareness card deck. Just uh, let me shuffle for a bit here. And this has been quite the week in terms of energy following the Easter weekend last weekend. I don't know if you felt it, but for me, it felt like a tidal wave. I've heard a lot of other people say so too. Uh, just a lot of energy as, as so many people on the planet had this resurrection concept in mind over Easter. And it felt like it really shifted a lot of things. And for me, it really brought a lot into focus on kind of, you know, what, where, where's the truth? Where's, where's your own truth? And letting go of stuff that's really not serving it. So I'm going to do a Four Directions reading for this coming week. And starting with the East, and I do... This spirit has directed me to put the east on the left-hand side um, when I do my readings. So the east represents the element of air in the mental body. So this is kind of what's going to be going on mentally and how to address those energies coming up mentally. I'm going to go ahead, I think, and pull the cards for all the directions, and then we'll just turn them over one by one. So this one being for the south. Let's see what wants to come forward for the west. And then for the north. Let me get my little still life go here, maybe. Let's put this feather over here. Okay. So going first with the direction of east, and again, this is going to be really addressing the mind, okay? And the animal coming forward for this week is cougar. Now, every animal has many, many different reading meanings we can read into it. So really, when you're working with the animals, you want to just use your intuition and see what what this particular animal wants to say, which meaning, which characteristic, which trait is coming forward from cougar, um, you know, for this particular aspect. And I'm getting just this image of a mother cougar with her cubs. And somehow, in terms of what this card is bringing forward, the strategic use of time is coming forward, both of those images coming forward. So I'm sort of getting the idea of birthing something new, a new creative idea, and protecting that, right? So, like, you, this is a really amazing time right now for setting intentions, you know, this, this whole month coming up ahead is going to be incredible for intention setting. So this is really an encouragement to set aside time, protect that time, protect time to set intentions and maybe come up with, an, you know, some affirmations, um, you know, it, set aside time. Early morning is a great time to do it when you wake up or, or before you go to bed, it's just Maybe write down three things that you really want to manifest over the next year or whether it's for the next month or even for the next day. But, um, if, you know, just just taking the time to really focus on that in your intention. And then throughout the day, maybe set aside some time, maybe choose a specific time per day that you're going to actually take action on this idea, this seed of an idea. Um, 
that is going to help you manifest. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so moving into oops, moving into the um, direction of south. South is going to be the fire element, the spiritual element. Okay, we've got B in reverse. So let's see what wants what B wants to say. Okay, um, in reverse. Sometimes I use that reverse in, in cards. I'm starting to do that more often. And sometimes I just do it purely intuitively. So turning it <laughs> the other way, um, because I think that some, the quote unquote shadow aspects, they can, you know, come in handy sometimes. So it's not necessarily that they're always bad. Um, but this is really, I think sometimes when it turns up in reverse, it's like, pay attention to this because this is where you could get derailed. Okay, um, so B has a lot to do with your tribe, with your community, with, um, you know, the, the, the community or family where you feel identified with. And coming up in reverse, this has, this has two sides to it, right? Because um, the B defends, and, and the B works very, very cooperatively you know, with its, with its hive, with its family, but then it will viciously attack anything that's, that's going to, um, you know, get in that way, get in its way or, or to threaten it. Okay. So this is coming up in reverse. I'd say, watch your tendency, any tendency, maybe it's in others, maybe it's in yourself, um, to defend spiritual ideas, right? Um, blindly because coming up in reverse, this is sort of like an overreaction. So anywhere that you feel spiritually threatened, um, I'm getting the encouragement to rather than reacting. And, and this could be from other people. It could be your own demons coming up, but it's like rather than reacting, which could cause a lot of inflammation, consider just just really non-action. What happens if you simply don't react, if you just come to center, if you just start to breathe, and just with this attitude of, you know, just what's mine is want mine, what's yours is yours. The whole idea of the get thee behind me just you know, you, you don't even exist, <laughs> whatever it is, you know, and, or maybe if it's somebody else, it's like, okay, you're entitled to your opinion. You know, that's your opinion. It may not be mine, but I don't necessarily need to prove that mine is better. It's, it works for me. I'm going to just retreat into that and, and be fine with it. Um, so just staying chill. Your spiritual things are concerned. We have another reverse card here. This is in the West. The West is the direction associated with the element of water and with the emotional body. So we're looking at um, otter it has been coming up a couple times recently and coming up in terms of lightheartedness, play versus um, really focused because they're a predator and, and, and they need to eat a lot, right? And they are hunters. So they do have that focus, but then they also have this very, very playful side. And coming up with emotion, I'd say look at your emotions. If you're struggling with emotions, if you're dealing with anxiety, anything like that, rage, things like that, watch where you may be like emotionally fixated on something and consider bringing a little bit of air element into that, a little bit of play, a little bit of, okay, well, how can we make this fun? How can we bring a little bit of lightheartedness into it and maybe dance, okay? So one thing that can really help if heavy emotions are coming up is to literally bring air into it um, dancing is an amazing way to 
release things, to release emotion, to to bring a little bit of lightheartedness into situations. So uh, try making time for dance this week, um, or like just even br breathing, just bringing some air into it. Remember that water, when it gets stagnant, gets very toxic, but when it's aerated, then it can be, uh, uh, you know, there's there's a lot of life that it brings. And this is the last one, another reverse card, a lot of reverse cards. So a lot of awareness has to happen this week. I think uh, this, this week is, let's say it this way, the week is calling for a lot of awareness and a lot of discernment, okay? Because there may be things coming up in, in many, many different areas this week that will call for discernment to where we can, you know, just say, what's really happening here? Do I really need to react to this? Okay, so mosquito again is one that we tend to react to very quickly. Um, this is coming up in the physical, like this is the direction of north and associated with the element of earth with the physical body. So I'm looking at irritations maybe coming up um, associated with a physical or material. Okay, this could be when are my taxes going to come in, right? You know, could be uh, associated with money. Um, okay, mosquito. It's pretty easy to see the irritating side of mosquito. <laughs> um, but again, put things in perspective. Like a mosquito, yeah, it's super annoying, but is it life-threatening? Well, if you let it get to you a lot, you know, like it can be if it carries something with it, but the mosquito itself um, is is pretty harmless, you know, just one mosquito. What you want to do is make sure that uh, you don't get yourself, you know, just, just walk into places where there's swarms and swarms of them because, you know, so we do have some choice. We can choose to walk into the swamp you know, on a hot day in July, or we can choose maybe to walk up into onto the mountaintop where there's a breeze blowing and the mosquitoes aren't congregating. So, you know, kind of watch, especially in terms of the, the material, the financial or the physical, um, you know, choosing the environment that we choose to put ourselves in. If you are feeling impulses to spend impulsively, right, maybe stay away from the mall. Maybe stay off of Amazon right now. Um, if, say, you're wondering about your taxes and it's irritating you, again, bring air to, into it. You know, just do something fun because the tax return will come <laughs> in its own time. It'll be divine timing and just trust that maybe it's being delayed for a reason. Maybe, maybe it's going to prevent you from some impulsive spending that won't serve you and be there for you when you really need it for something that's going to really serve these intentions of yours. Okay. So, um, so this week, it's really all about, first of all, intentions and what's really going to serve you and keeping that in mind, really focusing on that. And then being just very discerning, just very discerning about things that are going to be distracting you away from those intentions, trying to get your focus elsewhere. We want to keep bringing the focus back to the intentions that are going to serve your higher purpose. And that's the, the big message for this week. So I hope that you have enjoyed this reading. I uh, do appreciate um, if uh, you are on my channel uh, to, uh, I'd love to hear your comments. I'm going to post links below to this deck and also to um, I, uh, signing up for sessions with me. If you are looking for clarity in your life, I do offer um, readings and shamanic sessions. So thanks again so much for watching. Love you all. Appreciate your likes, subscribes, shares, and you have a lovely, lovely week moving into this new moon in Taurus. This feels like an amazing time of manifestation right now. So just enjoy and I'll catch you again tomorrow.